first thing you'll notice when comparing these two laptops is the processors. The Dell XPS 13 Plus comes with Intel's 12th generation core processors, and they're from the new P-series, meaning they have a 28 WTDP. For starters, Intel's 12th gen processors now have a hybrid architecture, mixing high performance and efficient cores. The top tier configuration, the Core i7-1280P, has 6 performance cores and 8 efficient cores, and all the other models have 8 efficient cores, too. Only the performance cores vary. On top of that, the 28 WTDP means these processors can run faster than the typical 15W processors we usually see in Ultrabooks. Comparatively, the Spectre X360 comes with 11th generation processors, maxing out with a quad core core i7-1195G7. All of those cores are performance cores, but they're the previous generation of them, so they're not as fast as the new ones. These are also the 15W processors we just mentioned, so they're a bit more restricted in how much power they can use. You can look at the benchmarks below to get an idea of how much faster the Dell XPS 13 Plus will be, but keep in mind that benchmarks like Geekbench only test the CPU specifically, so they're not a perfect representation of a laptop's performance. The flip side to this is that because of the increased TDP of Intel's P-series processors, the Dell XPS 13 Plus is likely to have much worse battery life compared to the Spectre X360 14. As for the GPU, both laptops have Intel Iris Z integrated graphics with up to 96 execution units. So the difference shouldn't be that significant on that front. The addition of 12th gen Intel processors also means the Dell XPS 13 Plus supports LPDDR5 RAM, which is significantly faster. All RAM configurations on the XPS 13 Plus are LPDDR5, while the HP Spectre X360 14 still has LPDDR4X, meaning Dell has faster memory, too. The same goes for storage, with Dell adopting a PCIe 4 SSD compared to HP's PCIe 3 SSDs in the Spectre X360 14.